Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be talking about the four most common symptoms of low testosterone as well as how you can personally figure out whether or not you're dealing with low testosterone. So let's dive right in. This video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Zach Allison and welcome to Nutrition Library where we take an evidence-based approach to supplementation. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, do me a huge favor and hit the big old red subscribe button that is below this video so that you guys can stay up to date uh, with all of my future content. Thank you so much. All right, so the symptoms of low testosterone, to be quite frank, can be uh, somewhat vague to some degree. And so sometimes it can be fairly difficult to figure out whether or not you are dealing with symptoms of low testosterone and some other fairly common um, metabolic issues. However, in this video specifically, we're going to be talking about the four most common um, side effects that are associated with low testosterone. So let's go ahead and dive into the first one, which happens to be low mood. Now, I realize that this can be somewhat vague. However, um, a lot of folks don't understand that, that testosterone to some degree is uh, somewhat dopaminergic, meaning that it also has um, some function in the dopamine neurotransmitter pathway. And now dopamine is a neurotransmitter in the body that is highly involved in improving mood, increasing motivation, as well as reducing anxiety. And so uh, whenever an individual is experiencing low levels of the hormone testosterone, there's also usually an association with depressed mood, uh, high anxiety, and low motivation. And so by correcting a deficiency um, in the hormone levels of testosterone, there's usually a notable increase in mood as well. Now, the second primary symptom that individuals that are low in testosterone typically experience is low libido. And now in men specifically, uh, libido or sex drive is typically driven by testosterone and its um, metabolites as well. And so along with a, a depressed mood or decreased mood, one of the primary symptoms that individuals end up dealing with whenever they're experiencing uh, low levels of testosterone and testosterone derivatives within the body um, is a decrease in sex drive. Now, the third most common symptom that is associated with low testosterone is difficulty building and maintaining muscle mass. Now, testosterone is one of your primary anabolic hormones in the body, along things like insulin and growth hormone, as well as some of the testosterone derivatives like DHT. And because maintaining and building muscle mass is such an expensive uh, metabolic pathway, meaning that it requires a lot of calorie intake, a lot of protein intake, as well as optimal hormones signaling. Whenever an individual is low in testosterone, um, there is going to be a difficulty in maintaining and increasing muscle mass um, at optimal rates. And a lot of individuals that end up increasing and improving and optimizing their hormone and testosterone levels specifically um, do note an improvement in muscle maintenance and muscle mass just in general. Now, the fourth most common side effect of low testosterone um, that individuals kind of initially experience is uh, difficulties in losing fat mass. Now, because testosterone, again, is one of the most anabolic hormones in the body, meaning that it helps the body to build tissue, uh, whenever you are low in testosterone, especially when you are on a calorie-restricted diet, uh, meaning that you're in the process of losing weight, um, you will find, typically, if you are low in testosterone, you'll find that it's difficult difficult to maintain muscle mass and lose fat. And so if you are on a calorie restricted diet and you feel like you're experiencing more muscle mass loss than you would like and less fat loss than you would like, it is possible that you are low in testosterone. Now those are the four most common initial symptoms of low testosterone. There are a host of other issues. However, these are kind of the four most common that people initially experience. But I will say that testosterone levels aren't necessarily the only only hormone that you should be paying attention to, um, specifically for men, checking estrogen levels as well as prolactin levels can be extremely enlightening uh, simply because these are antagonizing hormones in the body, meaning that they 
uh, somewhat antagonize the effects of testosterone. So even if you do have super high testosterone levels, if you have um, moderate to high levels of estrogen and prolactin as well, being high in those hormones will antagonize and oppose the effects of testosterone in the body as well. And so when it comes to hormone levels in general, the most important thing to note um, isn't just outright testosterone levels, but it's uh, free testosterone, total testosterone, bound testosterone, uh, SHBG, estradiol, prolactin, all of these are super important to kind of get a snapshot of your entire hormone panel so that you can get an accurate picture of one, what your hormones look like, but two, the proper uh, protocol to enact in order to optimize your personal hormone profile. Now, the only way of doing this that I am currently aware of is to actually get a blood test done. Um, and if you guys are interested in doing this, there is a company that I personally use uh, that actually sends a test straight to your doorstep and you can actually do the blood test at home and send it to them. And you'll actually get a call after your test is done processing uh, with your results, as well as a call with a licensed healthcare professional, which is super helpful and enlightening. And so again, if you guys are interested in that, there is a link in the description down below. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you in this video. If you have any questions, questions, please leave a comment down below. If you guys are interested in um, a complete hormone optimization supplement guide, there is a link in the description to that as well. Um, and so again, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys next time.